Millie Weaver reporting for InfoWars.com. We are here in Columbus, Ohio, at Ohio State, where Hillary Clinton is holding another rally. Let's go ahead and talk to some college kids and find out who they think won the presidential debate and get their input on the fact that Donald Trump called out Bill Clinton for his sexual predation. <laughs> nobody like Trump get up and talk the way he talk it just sounds so ignorant words are very important but what do you think about actions and uh, Bill Clinton's actions in raping those women I have to say I love Bill Clinton just as much as Hillary does I don't believe he raped him if he went to bed with the man with the woman it was consented because I would go to bed with him what you talking about, Willis? They wanted to. Yeah, they didn't, he didn't rape him. Bill Clinton raped me, and Hillary Clinton threatened me. Trump's an idiot. <laughs> what did you think about him calling out Bill Clinton for being a rapist? I think that's, I don't know if he has any backing for that, but Bill Clinton was president fairly recently, and I think if that had been true, it would have came out at least, and no, this has been the first time it's ever been mentioned. Our uh, agreement had a, uh, a payment of money plus uh, a uh, statement by the president uh, uh, redeeming Paula Jones's reputation. Uh, the president uh, uh, does not want to spend one more minute on this matter. We were able to reach reach a settlement. Uh, the settlement number was eight hundred and fifty thousand. On March 10, 1998, Willie appeared before a federal grand jury to testify about the encounter she had had with the president. Kathleen Willie wrote, quote, I believe Clinton would have raped me that day, just as I believe he raped Juanita Broderick, unquote. A few hours after she was assaulted in the Oval Office, Kathleen Willie's husband, Ed, was found in a wooded area dead of a gunshot wound to the head. I think that Hillary Clinton won the debate. Um, she had an answer for every question, which was something that I don't think Donald Trump had. Do you remember what her answer was when she was asked about Bill Clinton and his past rape allegations? I do not remember that um, particular answer because I was more focused on Donald Trump's continued denial of the fact that he, um, or his continued excuse of the video that was just released of him as locker talk, which I don't believe that it is. Do you remember the answer Hillary gave for why she de defended a guy who raped a 12-year-old girl in court? Uh, again, I do not remember that particular answer. Audio recordings of Clinton from the 1980s in which she was the defense attorney for a man charged with raping a 12-year-old girl. Take a listen. It took a lot of it. I have to do you think this is politically a problem for her in any way? I do. I think it's really bad for a certain subset of voters. For lack of a better term, the millennial generation, they're still actually being introduced to her. Go Hillary. I don't like Trump. He's too racist. So what did you think about Donald Trump calling out Bill Clinton for being, you know, a sexual predator. Uh, I guess he got him there a little bit, but uh, I don't know. What Trump said was pretty messed up, so. Who is Jennifer Flowers? She's a legend. It's a 12-year affair with you. It, that allegation is false. And I had to admit, under this definition, that I'd actually had sexual relations with Jennifer Flowers. If you were in a relationship with somebody and you found out that there were all these people coming forward saying that they raped somebody or did something bad, would you stay with them? Oh, you know, I guess that's a pretty hard question to answer, but uh, I guess I would have ended it, yeah. You know, I'm not sitting here as some little woman standing by my man like Tammy Wynette. Hillary should not have to answer for Bill. 
She is running for president. That's the past. That's her husband. I have a husband. I can't be responsible for what he does. And I don't think she should have to answer for that. Well, do you think it's a bit hypocritical for her to make a big deal about the tapes of Donald Trump saying something in a locker room years and years ago? I agree with that. Who won the debate? Donald Trump, definitely. Much stronger stance. Um, stood up for himself, presented himself as a gentleman, issued an apology, and attacked Hillary in all the right ways. I think so. I didn't watch that sh Are you serious? We got better stuff to do than that. I mean, this, this, yeah, this, this, this election could very well shape your future. Alex Jones needs to calm down. He comes on the, the YouTube, whatever the videos, and he's way too aggressive, man. He's just like, calm it down, man. Like, the world's not going to end tomorrow, you know what I mean? How do you know you don't watch politics? What do you think about the fact that Bill Clinton's had several women accuse him of raping them? Well... I know that Hillary was like bashing those women back in the early 90s. Um, that's not right. If all that were proven true, I think that would be a very serious offense. That is not going to be proven true. When all of this is put into context, some folks are going to have a lot to answer for. I'm going to sign it, as we see here. It's kind of written bad. Um, I do believe that it was a good idea for him to do that. I actually got kicked out. I was standing 10 feet behind where Hillary would have been speaking with this sign. I got kicked out for having this sign. Oh, man. You know, talk about freedom of speech. I don't know what if they agree with that here. So they let me in at first, and then they saw the sign and they saw that what it said, and they said it's a rogue sign, so they kicked me out. What was interesting to see here is that a lot of the people who came and formed around Hillary Clinton's rally were actually just passerbys that attend Ohio State University. I did have a good amount of people come up to me after and say, hey, I'm actually a Donald Trump supporter and I was just kind of lingering around. It's just interesting to see. This is just more of Hillary Clinton's tactics to try and make it look like she has more support than she actually does. This is Millie Weaver signing off for Infowars.com.